I think now in China, if you think about it, 800 movies are released every year. Um, a, a good half of that is foreign imports in China. So let's say if you're going to be one of those other half of the you know, producers making foreign language movies coming into China, you want to be very wary of what um, of what kind of movies you want to make. You want to make movies that please the audience, or you want to make movies that are innovative. Very often, movies that are innovative are the ones that are more successful. But the innovative movies are the, mo the riskier ones. At Alibaba, when we were first formed, I was the fifth employee there. And the first question we asked was, what, kind of, what do we want to do? Do we want to make money, or do we want to be influential? And we've chosen um, largely to test the waters first and figure that out later. Uh, so that's why w our first three deals were to do tent poles. So we did Mission Impossible 5 with Paramount. We did Ninja the Ninja Turtles movie and then a Star Trek movie to test the waters on what it feels like to do a big movie. Success we had, um, you wouldn't believe it, was with a movie that we did with Steven Spielberg because we, I then did a deal with Steven Spielberg's company to finance th that company. That movie was called Dog's Purpose. That movie did 100 million US in China. Unexpected. So as film producers, it's really important to be comfortable with the subject matter that you're making. Don't try to please the audience or don't try to assume that the movies that are successful before it will be successful again. Uh, it's always important to innovate. Finding the directors out there, finding the new you know, novels out there. I can tell you, if, has anyone read three bo The Three Body Problem? There are 10 people swooping in trying to get the rights to that novel right now. It's be, it currently already get made into a Chinese movie, but a lot of studios are trying to circle the author Liu Cixing to try to get the rights to that movie. So, um, and so that's kind of the business in a nutshell. I'll just tell like a really quick anecdotal story about what it's like to actually be a producer and financier. It's a lot like being a salesman. You're basically creating a group of people who think alike and like an idea and then you're trying to turn that idea, this intangible intellectual property, into a gigantic, you know, or potentially a gigant gigantic product uh, that requires a lot of money, time, and effort from a lot of people. So it's really important to be passionate about what you're doing as a producer. Otherwise, it's a lot of suffering. Um, if you look at a guy like you know the Jerry Bruckheimers or the David Heymans out there, the big producer, producers out there, it seems like they're living amazing lives and just you know flying private jets. But in reality, the daily life is a lot of reading, a lot of talking to the studios, a lot of arguing with the director, um, and a lot of arguing with the actors. All of that is really, really taxing. So it's really important to be a passionate about it. It's also really important to be very, very in tune with what your heart is saying. Is your heart saying this movie is going to work? 